teacups and welcome to today's vlog. The last time I talked to you guys, it was Tuesday and I had just finished my ancient runes exam and now I have also finished my transfiguration exam. So I finished reading My Lady Jane and that book was so good. I think, honestly, it's one of the best books I've read so far this year. It is so funny, it's so magical and it definitely just takes you to another place, which I love books like that. So thank you so much guys for recommending that to me because I feel like I would not have picked up that particular book on my own. And then I'm about 40% through my History of Magic exam, so I'm like 40% through Chamber of Secrets. And then I'm five chapters into One of Us is Lying. So I'm buddy reading that with my friend Taylor, so I don't wanna get like too far ahead, but I might read a couple more chapters of that today. I will say right off the bat with one of us is lying. It is like so crazy. Like right away, you have so many questions. Your mind is racing. You have to know what happens next. So I love how it started off. It definitely like hooks you right in from the very start and I love that. So yeah. And then I've also decided to add on an extra course to this readathon. So this year, G has added on some extra courses that you can take on the side. So she created like a dragon training course, um, an animagus course, and then I personally have chosen the merpeople linguistics course. So for this one you have to take an exam for herbology, and this works out perfectly because I really want to read another Casey West book for this readathon because I enjoyed Lucky in Love so much. The herbology prompt is to pick a book that starts with an M, so the new Casey West book um, is called Moment of Truth. And I looked on the Hoopla app, and that's the app I use through my library to listen to audiobooks, and they do have it, so I'm going to be listening to that today. I think what I'm gonna do first is organize my closet. I feel like I'm always doing that. <laughs> I think, honestly, it's just more of a hobby of mine at this point. <laughs> I just really like cleaning and organizing, is that weird? <laughs> um, so I think I'm actually going to color coordinate my wardrobe because I used to have it like that and I don't know why I stopped doing that. So I think I'm gonna do that for a little bit. And then something else I need to do is I still haven't started my bullet journal spread for this readathon. So we're gonna work on that as well. Oh look, I have all my kitties here. <laughs> Hi Luna, are you enjoying the sunshine? Yeah! <laughs> Hi Ellie, you okay buddy? Everyone is so sleepy. chapters into Moment of Truth. So I feel like this Casey West book is taking me longer to get into versus The Fill-In Boyfriend or Lucky in Love. But like I said, I'm only on chapter 10, so there's a total of like 40 something chapters. But I don't know, I'm just not super drawn to the cast of characters and I feel like the only thing that's really keeping me going is the mystery of Heath Hall. Oh wait, I don't think I've read the summary of this for you guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna read the summary of the book for you guys really quick. 
Okay, at 16, Hadley Moore knows exactly who she is. A swimmer who will earn a scholarship to college. Totally worth all the hard work, even if her aching shoulders don't agree. So when a guy dressed as Hollywood's latest action hero, Heath Hall, crashes her swim meet, she isn't amused. Instead, she's determined to make sure he doesn't bother her again. Only, she's not sure exactly who he is. The swim meet isn't the first event the imposter has interrupted, but a little digging turns up a surprising number of people who could be Heath Hall, including Hadley's ex-boyfriend and her best friend's crush. She soon finds herself getting caught up in the mysterious world of the fake Heath Hall. As Hadley gets closer to uncovering the masked boy's identity, she also discovers some uncomfortable truths about herself. Like she might resent the long shadow her late brother has cast over her family, that she isn't as happy as she pretends to be with her life choices, and that she is falling for the last guy she ever thought she would like. Also, this is very random, but standing here in my closet makes me think of all the creators I've seen um, recording podcasts in their closet, and I kind of want to do that. <laughs> I don't know what I would talk about on a podcast, but I don't know, it seems like fun. Um, but anyway, I am going to get started on my bullet journal, and yeah. So here is the final results of my bullet journal spread. I love the way this turned out. This is so very me. So I have this little Polaroid picture of me dressed as Fleur Delacour. <laughs> I just got this hat in the mail not too long ago, so I was like so excited to wear it. And then I have my TBR list here, and I drew some little rainbows. The rainbows were actually inspired by my phone case. <laughs> then I have some washi tape from Erin Condren. And then this page includes the printouts for what I am pursuing for the readathon. So I am going for the graphic designer career and it gives all the information there. This is a printout from the booklet that G created. And then here is some more information on the Mer People Linguistics course. And then on this page, I haven't actually really completed this, but here is my reading tracker page. So I find that this really motivates me and really helps me stay on track for readathons. So each square represents 50 pages, so that way I can just see where I'm at as far as progress goes. So yeah, that is my little bullet journal spread for this year's readathon. So for the Mer People Linguistics course, I think that would be so cool to have like a mermaid friend. Ever since I saw the movie Aquamarine, I always wanted to have a best friend that was a mermaid. <laughs> that movie is like one of my favorite movies. I used to have the huge movie poster on my bedroom door when I was younger. So yeah, if I were actually at Hogwarts, I I think it would be really really cool to be able to communicate with the mer people. I know like the mer people in Harry Potter are very different from like the mermaid in Aquamarine, but I still think it'd be really really cool and I still think I would make a mermaid friend. I do. I really do. <laughs>
So update on one of us is lying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I can already say that this book, it's gonna be very hard to pace myself when I'm reading this. I know a lot of you guys said that you read this book in one sitting and I completely understand why. <laughs> I like how fast paced this is. I like how you're constantly discovering things about the characters. I like how it switches points of view. So you get the point of view of all four characters. I would say my favorite character so far is Bronwyn. She reminds me of Spencer from Pretty Little Liars. But yeah, loving this so far. This is like, I love a good like suspense mystery type of book. And I'm already excited to read the next book. <laughs> I, I have no idea who the killer could be. I, I really don't know. But like I said, I am doing a buddy read of this so I don't wanna to get too far ahead. So I think I am going to end the vlog here. Let me know in the comments down below which books you've been reading, if you've discovered any good ones. And yeah, I will see you guys next week for Owl's Readathon part three. Bye.